So I thought I'd give a, a, a little bit of a yeah update as to my first uh, little bit of time on the kit here. My little tuck and cut inflatable. Got the uh, motor going there. I'm doing a little break in. First impressions are is it's really as advertised, it's really mint, it's really stable on this tacky cat. It's not too, you know, sort of leeward wobbly. It's nice and stable. It's got a good feel on it, honestly. Uh, the six horsepower seems great, man. I'm really glad that I went the direction that I did. It seems just about right in terms of weight for the boat. Uh, it also seems really great for. Uh, you know the size of motor uh, in terms of power I mean although I'm only doing half uh, you know half throttle because of the break-in period or, or less than that I guess in 2,000 rpm for the first hour that's what the manual says anyway but uh, but yeah this thing's mint it's just beautiful being out on the water super fun I can tell right away this is gonna open up so much one thing I'm a little surprised at is um, and maybe I shouldn't have been but I am a little surprised at the, um, you know, just the travel in terms of this chop. I don't know if you can see behind me here, but it's got like a, you know, seven knot sort of easterly wind here this morning uh, on a receding tide. So it's kicked up this really super classic, um, you, you know, sort of uh, side chop, uh, but it's wind swell. Um, Anyway, I mean, just in terms of not being able to get up on plane and feel the boat sort of travel as far as I want or get up on plane at all, really. Um, so it's chugging along. I mean, it's giving me an interesting sort of feel as to, in terms of like, you know, how the, the boat behaves on the water. But first impressions are really great, but I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I mean, the utility of this kit bringing me closer in terms of, um, you know, all the spots uh, around both on the UBC side as well as on the Ambleside side. There's probably through two or three breaks or points of, of um, where you know the tidal swell and, and wind swell will be kind of advantageous for me and I'm really stoked to have it open up on this kit it didn't take me that long there was a couple surprises putting it together a um, couple of uh, screws that needed to be taken off you know the motor I needed a bit to sort of mess around with but all in all I mean I think once I get my electric pump I mean I could be out on the water in like 10 or 15 minutes and I'm not kidding I mean, that's moving pretty good but um, that's what I feel anyway, and yeah, boy, it couldn't have been better to sort of nail in the, uh, yeah, when it's like this, it's just being on the water so nice. There's like a beautiful little, you know, breeze uh, uh, going here, and like, ah, it's just so mint. I love it so much. Don't feel super threatened. Uh, I was talking to one of the guys, locals, uh, regulars, I mean, uh, but he was telling me that, yeah, they don't really carry the UHF. You know, handhelds, unless they're going right out of town. Um, just because, like, you got cell coverage, and I've got my dry bag here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about what's going on right now. So I'll sign off, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. So this is the first hour of uh, engine break-in. <clears throat> it was pretty uh, uneventful, but really nice being out in the water this morning. Um, yes, we'll go to the second hour here, which is uh, three quarters throttle, but then alternating every 10 minutes, um, one minute of full throttle. So we're starting to ramp up the engine here. So I've topped up the engine and fuel, uh, by the way, refueling is a pinch, or a cinch rather. <laughs> um, but I, I don't, honestly, I think I'll go to an, um, a uh, direct feed uh, gas tank. It's a little, I don't know, I don't know, cumbersome is the right word, but it's just a little finicky having to refill on the boat. It's no big deal. This is just much rather have the, the fuel on board with the direct feed. Anyway, other than that, it's all good. Um, I'll just I'll show you uh, three quarters speed here and uh, we'll go have some fun.
cruising speed at about I don't even half throttle right now, so you can see you get a fairly good clip. I am getting a little cavitation though. That's a good example of the cavitation on the prop, so it just feels like it slips and it just uh, kind of loses loses footing. Um, but that's that Firma trim uh, fin mod, which I will do. I know I will, and I'll probably have a, the prop cup as well. But anyway. Um, yeah, I don't think I could be happier with this thing. It's killer. I love being on the water. I mean, look around. It's so beautiful. It took me about an hour going like maybe uh, between 10 and 20% throttle from where I launched at, uh, at Jericho Beach to right under the Camby Bridge. And there's the whole while I was just like, you know, sitting here thinking, how is this? How is this? Uh... Yeah, it's just, I'm sitting here thinking this is the most beautiful thing ever. So. Anyway, pretty still. Uh, I'm gonna get away from this book traffic, I think. But um, yeah, couldn't couldn't be couldn't be more stoked on it. Um, so I'm gonna do the second stage here. I'm just gonna maybe read up on the um, maybe read up on the on the second stage again, just so I have I nail the break in. But uh, yeah, I'll check it in a little bit. Okay, so I'll start the uh, full throttle one minute um, test here, just as soon as it clicks over to 9:36. Uh, this thing purrs like a kitten though. It's a beautiful little, beautiful little kit. It's really great. Pretty stoked on it. Uh, I am getting some cavitation still. Uh, I'm just trying to like, yeah, I guess it's just part of the break-in. Get a, a, a good amount of, um, yeah, just sort of understanding the, the various parts of the, the motor and the signature of the boat, that kind of thing. So I just got an alarm going off here. Uh, but that's my alarm for the full throttle test, so we'll do that now. Cavitation, but that still that was really great. 